Hey squad, welcome back. Today we're diving back into Logic Pro to explore and make full use of one of Logic's fantastic stock synth plugins. Now, if you like content such as this, remember to check out the playlist directly above where I'll be demonstrating the power of Logic's built-in synths. And today we're covering the much underrated EFM1. So if you enjoy this video, give me a like and let's dive right in. Now the EFM1 synth is a unit that's very often overlooked and that's simply due to the fact that there are so many powerful stock synth plugins right here in Logic Pro such as Alchemy, the ES2 and the Retro Synth. But today let's just look at how we can use this really simple yet powerful Logic Synth. The EFM1 is what's known as an FM synthesizer or frequency modulation synthesizer and the aim is to emulate classic FM synths such as the Yamaha DX7 which is my favorite keyboard and the one I use right here. However for me manipulating FM synthesis is not the easiest thing. It can be quite complex. So let me give you a quick overview on what the different sections are and let's build an entire production with this synth at the heart of everything. So inserting an instance of the Logic EFM1 synth is really simple. You create a new software instrument track and in the list right here, you'll see the EFM1 FM synth, select that. And this is the interface and the controls here are quite different to a regular analog synth. However, here's a quick overview as to what all of these sections represent. Now the global parameters up here in this top section contain the parameters that handle the overall tuning of the EFM one. So controls such as the glide or portamento time. You can also set the number of voices and you can thicken the sound with unison mode. Now the modulator and carrier parameter sections right here and right here are responsible for setting the basic tone of the synth. The modulation parameters in the center here are used to animate or evolve the sound over time. And the output parameters just at the bottom here are used to control the sub oscillator level. You can thicken the sound of the synth using the stereo detune knobs. You also control the volume envelope, the main volume and velocity controls of the synth. Here you've got a randomizer parameter setting. And if you hit the drop down section right here, you've got extended parameters, which allow you to access MIDI controller settings for the EFM1 synth. So that essentially is the makeup of the EFM1 synth. Like I said, it's not the easiest thing to understand compared to a regular analog synth. Anyway, let's dive in and check out some of the presets that come in this unit. So if we click here and come down, we can see there are seven different groups or categories, starting from leads, pads, basses, different keyboards, sequence elements, bells, and warped FM sounds. Rather than going through every single one of these sounds, I'm gonna select a few sounds and build a production just to show you how you can make great use of this synth. Okay, let's start off with a pad sound. We're gonna go with this first pad sound right here, calming, and this is what it sounds like. Really, really nice calming sound. Now, although that is a really beautiful sound, we're gonna be using some of Logic's stop plugins, plus one or two extra elements to add additional spice to this already beautiful sound. Now I've got a drum pattern here already, so let me just put down this basic pad. Lovely. Now to add some extra flavor to the sound, I'm using a few Logic FX plugins. We've got a chorus, a flanger, a spreader, and the channel EQ. And I'm also using one of my favorite plugins, which is the Tony Maserati Harmonix HMX plugin, which again is great for synths and keyboards. So let me bring these in one by one so you can hear how the basic pad sound becomes more interesting as we introduce each effects plugin. Now 
Now the reason I'm using the channel EQ at the end of the chain is to filter out some of the bottom end that can be building up because we're adding additional harmonics there. Remember we're going to be adding a bass line to this so we don't want to drown things out with too much low end. So the next sound we're going to be adding is a bass sound and right here we've got a number of great source sounds to get us started. Many of these sounds you'll actually hear used in house tracks but the one we're going to be using right now is the dark attack bass. It sounds like this. Right that's the general tone however I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. I'm going to adjust the volume envelope so there's less attack of the bass. I want to remove some of that punch. And the other thing I'm going to adjust is the glide. I'm going to bring that up to about 60. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to do right here is add some additional effects plugins onto the bass channel. So we're starting right here with the pedal board and I'm pulling up this preset on the complete pedal board tube vibe. And all I'm going to have going on is a touch of delay and the vibe plugin switched on. I'm turning off this tube burner. So let's hear what that sounds like now. Okay, I'm going to add a bit of f to it. And now I'm adding in my Tony Maserati B72 plugin. completely change the tone of the bass and it's going to work a lot better with what I'm about to put down. So let's do that. Okay, so now we've got the bass line down. I've just added an additional sound which I found under FM Bell's Bell Swarm. Have a listen to the sound as it is and then I'm going to switch in the effects that I've decided to use. Okay, let's bring in some of these effects. Okay, just creating more interest in the actual evolution of the sound over time. Now I think I'll just add one more part to this and then fill it out with a little bit of guitar, do a quick mix and then we're done. Okay, so for this very last sound, I've decided to go back to Leeds, FM Leeds, Wood Lead. And the raw sound sounds like this. I've added some effects plugins here. Let's hear how that evolves. Okay, let's add the spreader and the stereo delay. Auto filter and the Maserati HMX. So I'm gonna put this one down and then we'll call it a day. But before I do so, I just wanna show you one last thing. If you notice here, I'm just using some drums and these other four tracks are coming from the EFM1. Now I've muted the drums and I've muted the bass, but I'm sending these three other instruments through to this really cool Waves plugin called Retrofy. And I want you to have a quick listen to how this plugin once again colors the tone of these instruments. I'm gonna bypass. <laughs> So adding more of a lo-fi retro sort of tone to these sonic elements. So what I'm gonna do now is go away, do a quick arrangement and a final mix. But the point I'm trying to show you here is under the hood, Logic has got so much that goes undiscovered and unexplored. Take the time, mess with the different synths, see what you can come up with, add some effects, check out some of the Waves plugins I'm demonstrating right here. There'll be links in the description where you can try them out free of charge. So I'll put some guitar over the top while we play out. 
but I'm definitely going to be back to explore more of these fantastic logic stock synths. I'm Deuce, I'm out. Peace.